In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix cannot start the application error on the PS5. So the first thing you're going to want to do is head on over to the settings cog wheel in the top right corner. From here, we're going to go to users and accounts. We're going to scroll on downwards towards other, and we're going to restore licenses. This can happen sometimes where the actual PlayStation store doesn't recognize what you've downloaded and thinks maybe that you don't own it. So this will restore your licenses and retest the game that didn't work and see if that helps. Now, if it doesn't, at this point, you're going to have to likely delete the game. So you can do that by coming to storage, going to games and deleting. Although I'm sure there's a lot of people who may not want to necessarily lose the data from the game. So in this case, what you're going to have to do is use USB extended storage, or there's a great alternative if you're a PlayStation Plus member. So what we're going to want to do is go to saved data and game app settings, and we're going to select this one and you can use cloud storage to save any save files on set game. Now, after you've done that, what you're going to want to do at this point is reinstall the game and see if it works. If it doesn't work at this point, what we're going to be doing next is actually rebuilding the database on the PlayStation 5. So you're going to want to actually turn off your PlayStation 5 and then we're going to press and hold the power button until we get two beeps. Now this is going to bring us to safe mode and from safe mode, we're going to select option number five, rebuild database. Once you've selected that, we're going to go to option number two, rebuild database. And this is just going to take a few minutes at most to rebuild the database on your PlayStation 5. Now, once it's done that, it'll restart the PlayStation and retry the game and it should work. If this video was helpful, be sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.